car, uh, the kidney responds to lowered oxygen by releasing an extra amount of this hormone. What an enzyme called reether. You don't need to. Uh, it, but it, it releases a, the renal erythropoietic factor that converts a plasma protein into the hormone erythropoietin. So the main thing is that the main thing is the kidneys respond by causing an elevation of the hormone erythropoietin. And that's the key thing. The kidneys respond to low oxygen by causing an increase in the hormone erythropoietin. And the target area for this hormone right here is the bone marrow and causes the cranking out of more red blood cells. And I'll come back to that one if I need to. I'll come back to that one. Now, factors such as high altitude, hemorrhage, aerobic exercise. Will come, in other words, a person who exercises a lot will probably have a little bit more red blood cells if they do a lot of aerobics because they, the oxygen demand for their body is more. And, and so uh, will cause an increase uh, in uh, the erythropoiesis is causing increase in the amount of erythropoietin, this hormone. So that, that's kind of interesting to note right there as far as... Now, this is why, on a side note, you've seen the old boxing movies, you know, with... with uh, 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 what's his name? You know, Rocky. Rocky, the mother of Rocks. Rocky 1, Rocky 2. Go with Sloan, Sylvester, you know, Stallone. Go up in the mountains and train. Now the boxers, the, old, the, the idea behind that, they train in the mountains, go up to a high altitude. They're training, they're doing all this kind of stuff with them. <coughs> then they get out and they do some running, some jogging. All right, their blood, they're going to make more red blood cells. Then they have a doctor or nurse take that blood out and store it. They go back to sea level or go back where the fight is and they inject that, or they're in the Olympics and running. That's called blood doping. That's it, that's illegal. Although if that's your own blood, you put back in your system an elevated blood cell count. Elevated blood cell count means more hemoglobin, more oxygen carrying capacity, more stamina, more, you know, last long, you know, do it, run faster, you know, endurance, that sort of thing. Blood doping, but that's illegal, isn't it? That's definitely illegal in the Olympics, you know, blood doping. 